Hello and welcome to this tutorial on creating movie clips in Flash. You can see there's a simple Flash animation playing on the screen at the moment and that illustrates how movie clips are used. It's useful if you want to have an animation that's, that repeats or a slightly more complicated animation than one you can do with a one-off tween. So what I'm going to do is show you how I created this animation using movie clips. Okay, so what I've done is I've restarted my animation and you can see all I've got so far is one layer on which I've created a simple image of a mouth and a nose and I'm going to use movie clips to create the animated blinking eye. Now the first thing I need to do is to create a new layer because remember every time you add an object onto a flash animation you really need to give it a new layer so I'm going to call this one left eye okay like that and I'm going to just draw on this layer a simple shape to represent an eye like that so I'm it slightly and you'll notice that it smooths out automatically for me now when I've drawn my eye go to the properties tool and I'm going to convert this image into a movie clip so I select the image I right click and I use the convert to symbol option so I click convert to symbol and you can see that I've got the option to turn it into a movie clip so I'm going to call this I and you'll notice that this will then appear in the library on the right hand side and there it is, one item in the library. Now at the moment we haven't got any kind of animation and we've just really got an image that looks like a, a still open eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the little blue icon that looks a bit like a gear, right click and then I'm going to go edit and what will happen is you will notice that one of the layers disappears and we're just left with the layer of our eye. So if I click edit there you go, then we're just into the layer representing the eye now. Now this is because a movie clip is really just a little in private timeline that belongs to a particular image and we can create any animation we want on this timeline and it will add all of that into the movie clip for us and create the clip that we want to use. You'll see what I mean when I've actually created it. So what I'm going to do, I need to create a few parts of my blinking eye. I need to I need to create it with the eye open, which I've got now. I need to do it with the eye closed. So I'm going to go right click, insert keyframe, and that's going to be my closed eye. And then I need it open again. So I'm going to click there and insert the keyframe. And then I want it so that the eye stays open for a period of time, it doesn't just blink on and off. So I'm going to insert a fourth keyframe along here so it will be open close open and then it will stay open for all that time now what I need to do is I obviously need to change the image in this frame because at the moment it's open and I want it to be closed so I'm going to use my transform tool and I'm just going to drag and reshape the image so I've got something a bit like a closed eye and you'll see if I run it then that's what I've got open close open and that's fine but what I'm going to do to make that a bit smoother is put a shape tween in so I'm going to right click put a shape tween in and you could experiment with this you don't have to do this but I'm going to do it put a shape tween in and if I run that little private animation there you go, I've got quite a nice blinking effect. Now you notice that that runs once. The beauty of a movie clip is it can be used to repeat over and over again. So I've now finished my movie clip. I could have added as many other scenes, uh, many other frames as I'd wanted to there, but I'm going to leave that and I'm going to come back to my main part of my animation. So I'm going to click back here and I'm back onto my main timeline and it looks as if all I've got there 
is one frame without any of the animations in but you'll see that's not true in a minute so what I'm going to do now is just add a couple of simple time frames keyframes I'm going to add a keyframe here for mouth and you'll see why because I want mouth to stay on the screen I want this to be five seconds long so I'm just going to make sure the mouth stays on the screen for that period of time and then I'm going to do the same thing for left eye there we go so I've got a left eye and you'll notice that when it runs across here it doesn't seem to work it's because you have to you can only get working animations for movie clips when you preview the clip so I also need to add a right eye so I'm going to add another layer there and notice I'm naming the layers which is always a good idea right eye and then I'm going to just drag right eye there and then that's going to go onto my timeline there and again I'm going to add a motion a keyframe at the end and I'll put that there there we are and I've got one movie clip there and I've added the same movie clip there again so they're both on those timelines there and those clips will repeat all the way along this timeline till we reach 60 frames so let's just preview the animation remember to get a movie clip to work you have to preview it so I'm going to go publish preview flash and that's what I get they have blinking eyes and you notice that that just loops over and over the timing slightly out because I've, I've, I've lined the frames up slightly incorrectly but that but what you can see is the principle of how that works and if I just show you again if I click on the right eye there click on eye right click there and edit that's what's buried within that movie clip so a movie clip is just a simple animation created on a timeline like that and then saved as a movie clip and added to a main animation like that so you could use movie clips for all sorts of things you could use it for uh, raindrops falling from a cloud anything where you're going to have repeated animations happening over and over again so remember the series of steps that you need to do is you need to create a layer for each object you need to create your shape first then you would need to make sure that you convert your shape to a movie clip and that to get the little timeline you would right click there and edit and then just build your animation on the timeline like that the best thing to do now is maybe watch the video back and perhaps you could try and create your own blinking eyes as by pairing this animate uh, the video alongside a blank flash animation of your own and then perhaps if you can think of a, of a movie clip of your own that you could create to practice okay so good luck creating movie clips and i hope you found this tutorial helpful